Hi, welcome to the webinar session dedicated to our RFID switch called, called RSAFE. So first of all, I want to thank you um, for being here because we know that it's important to spread all the information about our uh, devices, our safety devices and the benefits that we can add to the market by using our devices. Also today, we will have the real-time experience like we had during the M1S.com webinar. So you will see the real are safe working together with our system. And we will see during the practical part of this webinar. So let's jump into the presentation. And let me introduce you the R safe, so RFID sensor. Here you can see the shape of this uh, of the device. Let me tell you this: RFID stands for radio frequency identification. So this technology allows to uh, uh, an active part that we call sensor to communicate with a passive part that we call actuator, and the the combo. Uh, use the electromagnetic field in order to feel the other part. So the data exchange is um, done through this electromagnetic uh, field communication. What is uh, able to do our, our safe is what the RFID technology allowed to do. So we can read the data inside the actuator and send information about it into the sensor electronics. This information allows the sensor to turn on or turn off the uh, OSSD signal, the safety OSSD signal. We have mainly three types of coding. Uh, based on the standard, we divide it into a low level coding and high level coding. If we're talking about generic coding, and generic coding means that every sensor can work with every actuator, this is a low level coding. If your application uh, doesn't require uh, any particular level of coding, you can go with the generic. The teaching coding is means that the sensor and the actuator born together in the production. So we pre-program the actuator we, mm, well, with the sensor, and then if for any reason the actuator is broken, then you can change the actuator with a new one, so you can keep in stock uh, the actuators. Then if uh, the working actuator uh, is broken, you can change with a new one that you uh, have in your stock and do the teaching procedure. The teaching procedure allows the sensor to read the new actuator, so a new ID, a new code. And if the actuator is within the active field range that is 12 millimeters, then the OSSD will turn on. The unique code is uh, something like the teaching, but the sensor and the actuator born and die together. So if the actuator is broken, then you need to change the entire system. You need to change the code. This allow also to uh, prevent any manipulation on the system. So based on the risk assessment, based on the application, you can choose between different level of coding. Three versions. We have the basic, the plus, and the pro. The basic is mainly the sensor with the automatic reset. This means that the OSSD are on if the actuator is within the field and will switch off if you, if you go out from the field. So if you exceed 12 millimeters of active field, the OSSD will turn off. Once you are again within the, the, the field, so again within 12 millimeters, the OSSD will turn on. The pro version is like the basic version, but is completely configurable. Based on what? Based on the fact that you can choose between, of course, with the automatic reset between 
reading the feedback system and do not reading the feedback. You can also do the CDS connection and we will explain this uh, during the, the, the webinar, what the advantage of using our R-Safe sensor, uh, what is the benefit of using our R-Safe our safe sensor if we're talking about the serious connection. But let me tell you this. Check, checking the EDM signal means that if you connect the feedback contact directly to the R safe, you have a standalone device that can reach the highest category level. So you can connect the R safe directly to a safety interface, directly to a safety relay, controller, or a PLC, and then you can maintain the performance level that you, that you need. <clears throat> and this is valid for the Plus and the Pro version. With the Plus version, we have the 8-pin connector, the 8-pin version, and it's completely configurable. So you can choose between automatic or manual reset with or without EDM control and also the serious connection. So we have mainly to distinguish the difference between serious connection with the Pro and serious connection with the Plus. We already know on the market that other RFID technology use the serious connection and then in order to know which one is open or closed, you have to connect each status to an input. So you have to um, consider that you need more inputs in order to collect all the signals. With the plus version, you don't need to connect to um, consider any other inputs. We are able to transfer the data only with one wire. So we have a serial message with a specific structure that you can decode into your input card or input from on the PLC, and then you will read the status of every sensor in the chain. The pro version is something similar that on what you can find on the market. So the status is single, is individual for every sensor. But what is the real benefit is to using the, the plus version because it's completely configurable and then you don't need any extra wire for all the sensor that you have in your chain. And then later we will see the practical example. We already touched this point during the M1SCOM webinar. So if you are interested in this, how to read exactly from the field bus and everything, go and check the M1SCOM webinar. So here you can find a general description of what we uh, have as a features on our are safe. So it's a very compact housing. You will see also during the real time. Uh, we choose the 22 millimeter hole spacing. You can mount from both sides. As you can see here, we have an arrow. This, this arrow is uh, present on both sides. It's like a mechanical reference. So just to adjust the, the mounting, the, installa the installation. It's mechanically compatible with most of the magnetic and RFID sensor that you can find on the market. Because with this sensor, we are also provided as an accessory, uh, a brackets that allow you to adapt this small and compact sensor to a bigger pre-installed pre sensor. Of course, the technology is a contactless technology, and this allow to uh, prevent any damage to the electronics, or if we compare it to a magnetic, to a read contact or any electromechanical switch, then you will see the benefits. You can understand the benefits because the lifetime will be higher than a uh, normal switch. So the sensor, as I said, can be used as a standalone device. So the sensor itself, if you use the plus version, for example, has all the integrated function, but also the, the, the pro version, because 
when we speak about integrated function, and this will be also uh, a good tip uh, for the next webinar, for the next sessions, the when we say integrated function, when you find on the documentation integrated functions, this means the, the sensor itself is able, is capable to check the signal from external device and provide the highest and reach the highest category level required from the standard, from the norm. So it's automatic or manual reset. It has the EDM inputs. We have, of course, two OSSD signal. So if you have an actuator where the carbon consumption is up to 300 milliamps and the actuator is able to read the OSSD signal to accept the OSSD signal, you can connect the R safe directly to the actuator. If not, then you need your interface, but this is a, another stuff. Again, with the Plus and the Pro version, you have the series connection, the EDM control, the automatic or manual configuration. Different type of connections. So we have the connector on the housing, we have the pigtail ver version, and we have the cable exit version. So Based on the requirement of the machine on the electrical department, when you discuss with the electrical department, or if you are part of the electrical department, then we have the right solution based on, on the machine. Typical application, okay? We call it RFID switch. So every time you need a switch with a contactless technology, with the possibility to give you real diagnostic and serial diagnostic, the RFID is the right solution. Some other characteristics, as you can see, we can go up to 70 degrees Celsius. The protection degree, if we are going to use, if we consider the cable exit version or the pigtail version, we can reach up to IP69K uh, as a protection degree. As you can see, the function operating distance, so the active field is up to 12 millimeters and the release distance, the assured release distance is 25 millimeters. So we can also discuss about this based on your application. The power consumption, we have, of course, the feedback input for the external device monitoring. The safety input for configuration or for serial communication, serious connection, and the dedicated input for the reset. As you can see, the sensor is able to be, uh, you can use the sensor in application up to performance level E or category four. The dimensions, as you can see, we Keep it as compact as possible, as small as possible. With the plus and the basic and the pro, the, from the mechanical point of view, from the connection point of view, uh, the plus and the pro are the same. So we have always eight poles. So the basic model, as you can see, we have only five pins and we have the Power supply, OSSD, and status. So every sensor has his own status that you can connect individually. Remember, the series connection is only possible with the Pro version and the Plus version. Plus and Pro model, this is the pinout. And as you can see, the pin number eight, based on the configuration, and later we will see some examples about the wiring, uh, about the configuration. Based on the configuration, you can choose that you can choose from the wiring, through the wiring, the pin number eight change the behavior. So can be it can be the feedback input, it can be the restart input, or you can use it like the serious communication pin. So the plus model, for example, you can select the automatic mode or manual mode with the serial connection or the automatic with the EDM control. 
or without the EDM control. So the plus model is the real uh, uh, the real benefits of this plus model is that you can adapt to any to every situation, and if you have any uh, co particular condition, you can change the wiring, and the sensor will change the behavior. So you can find it the multi-color LED LED information. If you look at the image, but you will see also during the real time. Uh, in the real-time view, the LED is visible from any angle. You can see it from the side, you can see, see it from the top, or you can see it from the back. So in this case, uh, it's not only a LED about on and off. The LED provides also the information about the diagnostic, about the uh, real function that we have inside it. The sensor. So if we have some diagnostic, if we have some fail, we will see a certain amount of red flashing and on the, on the documentation you will find the cause and the solution. So, and this is something that we uh, really want to give you as a benefit. So the possibility to understand the uh, the status of every single sensor, but if and also if you do the series, you will know the status from the LED that maybe some other uh, sensor is missing the actuator. So you will see a proper functioning, a proper blinking on the LED. If you have to do the series connections with the Pro or with the Plus uh, sensor. You can do it by the through the wiring or better using the, the splitters. If you use the splitters, then you will reduce the possibility of mistakes in the series connection. And of course, would be a better wiring uh, philosophy in order to keep everything as compact as possible. Of course, re reducing the time for maintenance or for troubleshooting if you have a miswiring or stuff like that. This is the internal wiring of our splitter that we can use to do the series. And this is the serial status signal. So once you will be able to understand that this signal can be connected to any PLC, to any input card, uh, to any input card or of, of any PLC, then you will uh, understand the real benefits of using the PLUS model because this is the serial signal that you can find on the PLUS model. And this signal provides you provides to you the information of all the sensors. So if we go back and see that we can connect up to 16 sensors, you will know the status of every single sensors just by reading at this data on a single wire. So at the end of the series, you need only three wires, two wires for the OSSD number one, and OSSD number two for the safety, and one wire for the status signal. Then if you decode it, you have the status of every single sensor. Of course, as we already saw during the M1SCOM presentation, but now we will see it again, we have the particular block that we can use in our Mosaic system. And this block is able to provide, as you can see here, is able to provide information about every single sensor in the monitor view. So once you go in monitor on our software MSD, MSD software, you will be able to read the status of every single sensor. So if you want to know something more about how to program the Mosaic system in order to read also the data from the RFID, I suggest to watch the video about the MSD webinar. You can find it on our website. So we 
spoke about the how to start with the with the software, how to properly integrate, how to properly use, and how to read the report, how to do the monitoring, all the the essential, all the initial step and the sense essential steps uh, for the MSD software. So this is the overview of the RSafe, but let's jump into the mosaic view. Let's jump into the uh, real time view and see what is happening. So this is our demo case, demo box with the real functioning. So we made it in order to have the real presentation. Let me close the. OK, this is our software. Now I go in monitor. OK, as you can see now, I open the sensor number two here. I also have the information on the PLC. Here, I know that now it's bit number two. If you want to read to know how to read those data through the field bus, go and check again the the webinar, the the previous webinar, the the webinar dedicated to MSD and MNSCOM, and you will find how to read those data. So if I open here or if I close, I can see the safety information, okay, on the field bus. So I can use this signal in order to trigger the diagnostic. Now we have both sensor closed. The signal here is true. If I open and you can see also the LED here, okay, and the lamp on top. So what when we say the very visible LED means that also with a webcam, with artificial uh, lights, with natural lights that we have on this on this case you will be able to see what is happening. And here now we do something in order to avoid. Uh, OK, yeah, now it's working. Sorry, maybe the power supply gone. So as you can see. It, we have the data always replicated on the on the on the mosaic what if i need to read this data on the diagnostic part so if i want to know which one is open or closed then i need to check the proper instance now everything is in binary and say okay start as you can see one one and here we have one one. So now go and check again the mapping. I open the and check again. And you, as you can see here now is zero one. And if I go here is zero one. So the entire communication the entire information is always provided and please look up at the block so we only wire three signal ossd number one number two and status so with a total of three wires we will we are able to provide the information to the plc through the bus using the m1s com or please use the if you have the m1s you uh, must use the last version plus the field bus communication module. This information is always provided. You just need to ask from your PLC which one is open or closed. Again, as you can see, I read the data. Um, if you want to know how to read this uh, data, you can find everything on the report. And if you want to know how to read the report, see the webinar dedicated to the MSD software or the M1SCOM module. So I think that now it's time for questions. So if you have some questions, 
or if you need something more, maybe if you want to discuss about functioning or about the application, you can write at aftersales at rare.it and we will be glad to answer to, to your questions. So thank you for your attention. I want to invite you to the next webinar that will be on in July on 19 and we will go deep into the uh, SR interfaces with uh, specific functions and or selectable functions we will see where to use all the uh, interfaces so thank you for your attention and see you in the next webinar session